Malnutrition is everyone's problem across the world. Pakistan, like other South Asian countries, is experiencing inadequate food consumption, which has resulted in damaging impacts on people's health, particularly of pregnant, lactating women and children under five years of age. Such conditions are a result of a volatile geopolitical climate, adverse climate conditions, and inappropriate feeding behaviors. If you look into the most recent global hunger index, Pakistan ranked 11th at the bottom in the uh, food insecure category. Another report of 2014 revealed that 60% of the rural population of Pakistan are severely food insecure. Lasuna envision a just, peaceful and prosperous society. This vision is pursued by empowering vulnerable and underprivileged communities through sustainable livelihoods, improved local governance, social cohesion, and enhanced resilience to environmental hazards. Food security and sustainable livelihoods program is one of the main programmatic pillars of LASUNA, uh, which entails that we have to mainly focus on the food and security status of the most vulnerable population. If we look into the nutrition statistics, three out of five newborns are not exclusively breastfed, and 85% uh, of all children under five uh, are not getting the diversified food they need to develop normally and fight diseases. Similarly, for every 10 children who are born in Pakistan, one will die before the age of reaching five. Uh, this can have a long-term effects on their cognitive development, school achievement, and economic productivity in the adulthood. To cater these issues, LASUNA, along with its long-standing uh, partner, Welthunger Health, initiated the, the project in three districts of uh, Shangla, Khoistan and Swat. This project aims to improve the nutrition status of pregnant and lactating women and children, addressing the, the basic and underlying causes of malnutrition. World Hunger Health has a vision of a world in which everyone can lead an independent life with dignity and fairness, free from hunger and poverty. Zero hunger wherever we work by 2030. The average HDDS score in the project area of Swat, Shangla, and Khoistan is 3.5, shows lower tercile of food security with low intake of micronutrients. Similarly, the average individual dietary diversity score, IDDS, in these districts is 2.6 pregnant women, 2.4 lactating women, 1.6 children under two years of age, which falls in lowest tercile with low intake of micronutrients. A high prevalence of malfeeding practices is there where 95 children are not feed colostrum to child soon after birth. 30% mother have no idea about the importance of breastfeeding and complementary feeding. Very small percentage of population know and practice critical times of hand washing. The problem of malnutrition is not so simple and easy to be tackled with single solution. It requires holistic understanding of this complex issue and it needs comprehensive efforts to develop ideal behaviors. This project is a successful model of nutrition sensitive and integrated approach we are all influencing factors contributing to nutrition security have been carefully accommodated. We demonstrate production and consumption of nutrient-rich foods. We support the local population in access to clean drinking water and availability of water per irrigation. Access to food is increased through different income generation activities and physical infrastructure and nutrition education is promoted at household level to prevent and mitigate the negative impacts of malnutrition. 
Food diversification gardens are demonstrated where farmers are provided necessary skills of food production through trainings, field days, and agricultural fairs, and its replication on large scale is pursued at community level. Particular focus in these gardens is on raising foods rich in protein, vitamin A, and iron, including vaccination and deworming of livestock for increasing milk production. We, the Agriculture Extension Department, uh, was an integral uh, stakeholder of the Food and Nutrition Security Project of La Suna. Under this uh, project, uh, uh, the capacity building of our staff was uh, carried out and uh, after that we have observed a very big change in their attitude. Uh, af after the training, uh, the messages on uh, nutritional security was, were also incorporated into our extension program. This uh, nutritional security is uh, uh, one of the focus of our concept which we are uh, sending to the government for our normal development program. Farmers are supported in construction irrigation channels and water courses to increase water efficiency for agriculture. Training course on vocational skills trainings and enterprise development are organized for unemployed youth to enhance access to food. Training and market exposures are provided to farmers for reducing post-harvest losses and increase of income. Construction of physical infrastructure like road and pathways contributing to access of the food are supported. Behavior change communication is central to improve use and utilization of food. Nutrition education program is the key element of behavior change communication. The program is characterized with logical chronology, master trainers representing government departments, health education, agriculture, and livestock are provided extensive training on the specially designed training manual. Health department being the major stakeholder in this project, so the Lady Health Workers program was fully involved in the project. The master trainers transfer the learnings to their field staff and community volunteers who conduct peer training sessions with households both women and men. A comprehensive package of information, education and communication IEC, material contain knowledge related preferred food and feeding practices is provided to each of the household. Adults being the future mothers and fathers are made engaged for nutrition awareness through school nutrition clubs. Students of grade 8 to 10 are involved in various activities promoting nutrition education. Families experiencing problems of clean drinking water and management of wastewater are supported construction of water supply and sanitation infrastructure. Capacitation and involvement of all stakeholders is quite important to ensure stability and sustainability. The target population is organized in community-based organizations at community level to reinforce and sustain the project efforts at community level. The concerned organizations, both government and non-government, including media, are provided necessary trainings and awareness on food and nutrition security concepts, approaches, and policies. Serious efforts have been made to implement a multi-sector integrated strategy of provincial government at district level. In this regard, formation and functioning of district nutrition forums have been facilitated where relevant government departments understand and pursue to make their plans nutrition sensitive. So the, in the multi-sector integrated forum which is headed by the district administration, uh, uh, different departments are involved like uh, health department, livestock departments are playing key role in the development and implementation of the strategies developed by the planning and development department. Lasun organization has played a, a vital role in uh, enhancing the capacity of the different departments in, uh, in guiding them and in, in realizing their duties uh, and 
um, and and also mobilizing them uh, for performance of the um, performance and implementation of those guidelines Observance of international days relevant to food and nutrition security are carried out by organizing different events to highlight the challenges related to nutrition security. I have grown up various types of vegetables in my home garden and have raised quails as well that provide diversified food to my family and fulfill our requirements of protein and micronutrients. A negative practice of feeding sugar, guti, and green tea as a first food to newborn prevailed in the area. However, after going throughout the nutrition awareness sessions, we stopped this custom. Now, colostrum is widely fed to the newborn in addition to the exclusive breastfeeding practice during the first six months, and women are taken care of for their food and health during pregnancy and lactation. Before construction of this pathway, it was very difficult for the villagers, especially children, women and elderly to go around. However, after its construction, through Lasuna's support, Accessing health and education facilities, agricultural fields and local market has become quite easy for all the people. The success of this project is it enhances understanding of all actors including government and non-government organizations on food and nutrition security concepts, which was quite helpful in realization of the problem and created an enabling environment for nutrition programming. This tested model of nutrition-sensitive and integrated approach by itself is a major achievement which could be adopted and upscaled with the confidence that it works.